Drooping eyelids can mean something different to different people. In some patients, they say to me that they've got drooping eyelids because they've got too much skin on their upper lids. This is usually in older patients who's getting, who are getting hooding and their eyelids are therefore looking very droopy and they can't see out. For other people, particularly younger people, they often develop a slightly drooping eyelid on one side. It comes on quite slowly and they start to get worried about it because they see it in photos. Often they don't notice it on a day-to-day -day basis and many people around them don't notice because it's a very slowly progressive drooping eyelid. So once they've noticed it, it can become quite an absorbing issue and they want to know what can be done for it. They want to know what it is, whether it will go away and whether it's going to need the help of an ocular plastic surgeon such as myself. If you're an older person and you've got drooping eyelids from hooded eyelids, then that could also be interfering with your visual field and you're just not seeing very well. And therefore, you would be considering having some surgery in order to lift the eyelids out of your visual axis so that you can see better. In younger people, as, as I've just mentioned, it may be something that they see in photographs and they want corrected for cosmetic reasons, or if it's both eyelids, it may be bad enough that also it's getting in the way of their vision. A question that was asked me today is, are there going to be any treatments in the future for my droopy eyelid? Such as, and I said, no, of course not. And I thought, no, 20 years time, you never know. We might be having stem cell implants for droopy eyelid muscles that aren't working well. But at the moment, it's mainly have an assessment, have the measurements done, let your ocular plastic surgeon advise you what can be done, and then consider having some surgery. For droopy eyelids with excess skin, the operation is called eyelid surgery, upper eyelid blepharoplasty. After you've had an upper eyelid blepharoplasty, which is an operation done under local anaesthetic as a day case here at Clinica London, you will immediately have better vision because the excess skin will have been removed. And although, yes, you will have a little bit of bruising, a little bit of swelling and redness, you will see from hour one the improvement. And that will be sustained over many years once you've got rid of the small amount of bruising and swelling and once the stitches are removed. I also use tissue fibrin adhesive, which is a form of glue to reduce the number of stitches. And this makes your eyelid look a lot quieter after the surgery. And sometimes, even at one week, I get a very pleasant surprise when the patient walks back into my surgery and I cannot tell that they've had eyelid surgery because they just look so good. And they also, they have a telltale smile on their face.